We are at a very exciting stage of your mitten knitting, the thumbs. All right, now, some of you have chosen to do gusseted thumb openings, all right, which should look pretty much like this, okay? Some of you have decided to try doing afterthought thumb openings. Whichever one you've chosen, you should maybe have two mittens if you've been very productive or maybe just one if you're making a sample. Either way, I'm going to be showing you how to pick up the stitches and then how to knit them up and close them at the top. Let's do a quick review though. Remember my little three thumb mitten sampler here? All right, now traditionally afterthought mittens, thumbs are done on mittens that have color work like Norwegian mittens and the top of them mirror the top, the kind of cathedral ceiling of the mitten, okay? Now, on a gusseted thumb, that top tends to be kind of rounded at the top, much like a hat, okay? I'm gonna show you both ways, and that way you can kind of choose. Sometimes you may wanna have a flat here, and you may want to have a rounded here. It doesn't really matter as long as you understand both methods. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> 